Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here, coming at you with another video. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your old PC or any computer or server into a Minecraft server uh, with basically no knowledge of tech at all. Um, basically, you're going to be starting your own self-hosting and you can run as many servers as your machine can uh, handle. So I'm going to be bringing you a full tutorial. It's a pretty big video for me. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So I know a lot of you guys don't know too much about computers that play Minecraft. Uh, some of you guys, at least, and you want to make a Minecraft server, um, but you have your old, you have an old computer or server or new server, or whatever. You have some type of computer that you want to use just for being a Minecraft server. So you're gonna want to go to Minecraft HTTPS um, colon slash slash Minecraft dot Codemo dot com. Um, now this is mine OS Minecraft hosting improved and what's cool about this operating system is you install it on your computer that you want to use as a dedicated Minecraft server and you will have an online interface <clears throat> that you can use um, from any computer in your house so say you run the server downstairs or your old computer downstairs with this installed upstairs you can go to the uh, uh, IP I'll show you all that later um, and um, you'll be able to add servers as many servers as you want uh, modded kernels vanilla anything you want um, you can see your uptime how much RAM and how many users are active and it's all a simple interface so there's no command line interface at all so the first step of this tutorial is to scroll down to uh, download MinOS turnkey ISO for your architecture now this kind of depends. If you have a 64-bit computer, which pretty much all new newer computers are, download this one. If you are unsure or you have a 32-bit, so if you don't know what bit your computer is, download this 32-bit ISO. But if you do get the 64, if you if it's 64 or 32, obviously get that. But if you have no clue, get this 32-bit. And then you're just going to hit it and download it. Now, what you want to do is download a program called Rufus um, USB tool and uh, plug in at least, I'd say, a 2 gigabyte. One, you probably at the least, you need a uh, 2 gigabit flash drive, 1 to 2 gigabyte flash drive, uh, but you can use a 4 gig, 4 gig works. Um, and just keep all the settings default, name it what you want, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave it at PVE. Um, and I uh, keep all the settings default and then where it says create a bootable disk using free DAWs, hit right here and then go to your um, desktop and then you want to hit mine OS uh, your mine OS ISO and now once you have the correct USB make sure it's the correct one or else you'll delete everything off another one Shoots your correct USB. Hit start. Yes. Hit write in ISO mode. Make sure that's dotted or checked. Hit OK. Now it'll just say uh, it's going to delete everything on your flash drive and hit OK. So this uh, will take just a little bit. I'll stay with you actually for this part. Might as well. Um, it will be very fast because this is a very small file. And basically, this is making your USB able to uh, install Minecraft or Mine OS on your PC, your old PC or your server or whatever you want to put it on. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, it's just copying to the flash drive so that we can use this instead of a CD, we can install off this. So um, usually this doesn't take too long. As you can see, we're almost done here. Um, this is the same process you'd use for installing Ubuntu or Windows, um, but since we're using MinOS, that's what we're going to do. So uh, once this finishes, and slightly a bit, I want to do a pretty you know, good guide for people that don't know what they're doing. Um, and we are ready, it says at the bottom, so you can hit close. And now if you check, your USB um, should be um in your PC and you should see mine mine OS TKLD 
on your USB stick. So we're just going to hit X. So next step is to go to the computer. So I apologize if this next part is noisy because this will be going on a pretty old, loud server PC. So let's get right into the next part. Okay guys, well now we're in the server room as you can see. If I just bring my camera down, there's my servers, my two Dells, R200's running. And uh, we're going to be installing MineOS on my HP server on the bottom. But uh, this process is where you'll install it to your old computer, whatever computer you want to use as a server. So um, let's get right into it. Let me just focus. It's having some troubles. So you're just going to take your USB. Make sure you plug it in to your server or your old computer. Or yet again, whatever you're installing it on. And we're going to start the power. Now this will be noisy because the server is noisy. Uh, but you will see the guide of installation. So let's get right into it. So now my server is starting up and I'll come back to you when it actually shows the boot screen. Okay, now you can see my server has shown the host screen. Let me just boot, zoom in. Uh, your computer will show its own host, uh, whatever screen, and depending on what brand the motherboard is or the manufacturer if you didn't custom build it. So uh, it's initiating my stuff. So I'll come back to you when all the server stuff come, goes away and we actually get to the real install of it. Now, as you see, uh, if you guys don't know uh, what uh, you once you turn on your computer after a while, do you it will boot to the USB. Um, if your computer doesn't and it boots to whatever it has on it, uh, make sure you look up how to make your computer bootable from USB. Um, but if it gets to this part where it says turn key, uh, we're good. So you're gonna hit install this uh, hard disk with enter. It's gonna look like it freezes real quick. Um, so we just want to let it be. Um, while that's loading, let me just show you. Down there, that's my computer that's running, the one with the green lights, all the way. Let me see, right down, all the way to the bottom there. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. I'll come back to you when it actually goes, when I hit install, when it goes past the screen. Oh, never mind. There you go. <clears throat> it's going to look like this. Um, I'll tell you right now that it is going to be a lot more simple than um, this uh, once it's actually configured. Uh, just let it be, and it's right now it's just turning on the um, operating system. Now it is starting the installer. Now what you want to do is use guided or use entire disk. Hit enter. <clears throat> Select yes. <clears throat> now right now it is just formatting the partitions. Copying the operating system. This will not take long because, you know, 300 megabyte, megabyte operating system. <clears throat> Sorry, voice is all screwed up. So uh, we're just uh, copying data to disk. We're almost done here. Now hit, make sure you select yes. This is very important that you select yes there. Um, or else your MineOS will not turn on uh, and that won't be good. So um, going through this. Now I might as well mention this server has 8 gigabits of RAM and 2 processors, uh, so quad core. Um, but uh, yeah, you can do this on any hardware, at least I'd say 1 gig of RAM on your system. Now you're going to be uh, seen with this, uh, one gig for uh, vanilla, probably two at least for, uh, you know, modded versions with plugins. I would like to restart right now, so hit yes. So now we are done with the installation. Let me go down, and I'm going to unplug the USB stick.
So, let me unplug. Where is it? Where's the camera? There we go. We unplug the USB stick. <clears throat> now our computer is going to boot, and I'll come back to you when we're at the install screen or the setup screen. So our mine OS is booting up again. So let's just uh, wait for that to happen. And once it starts hitting this, it shouldn't be too long until our mine OS is fully booted again. should boot like this. Also if you want to see a free NAS install let me know. Uh, my free NAS is the second Dell R200 down and that's an ESXi. If you'd like to see any of those installations at ESXi or any other things you want to see set up or configured let me know and I will definitely help you guys with that. So it's regenerating SSL so this is how you'll access it from your computer upstairs. Um, or from wherever you want to access it from. Obviously you can't access it from this computer because this is the server and no longer, you know, it's just going to be, you know, server. I don't know. Uh, so now this is setting it up, uh, the web interface or the security certificates so you can use it. Um, if you don't understand any of that, it doesn't matter. Now enter a new password for root account. I'm just going to pause here. It's going to ask you to confirm the password, make sure you do that. Now after you set up all your passwords, there's a series of four passwords. All you want to do is hit apply right there. Uh, you can do this, I'm not going to, I'm just going to hit enable. Whoop, looks like we have to. Oh no, nope, skip, just hit skip down there. And security updates, make sure you install those. going to look like this, um, it's just updating the sources, checking if there's any new password, or not passwords, packages, sorry about that. Sorry this video is getting long, it is pretty complicated to get this up, well not complicated, just kind of takes a lot of time. Um, and there we go. Um, as you can see, um, you see on top there the MineOS Web GUI. It is 192.168.1.1 or dot six four. Uh, make sure you remember that URL. It will be different. So make sure you remember this whole line right here. This HTTPS, the number and the port. Uh, this part, the 192.168.1.64, that'll be completely different for you. But the HTTPS uh, colon uh, backslash backslash and the colon 8443 will be the same but this internal stuff will be different so make sure you snap a picture of that um, so let's go back up to the computer upstairs and log into the web interface and set up our minecraft server finally okay guys now what you want to do is go to your computer uh, upstairs or wherever you have your actual computer um, you know your old PC is running make sure your old PC or whatever PC you used is running right now and then navigate to HTTPS uh, colon slash slash. This is going to be completely different for you. I told you to take a picture of the web GUI line um, on your server. Um, that'll be completely different. But uh, the HTTPS, uh, that'll be the same right there. Everything that's not highlighted will be the same. So just put your IP in right there. And then what you want to do is you want to hit enter. Now, it'll say your connection is pr uh, not private. It's just because it's a self-signed uh, certificate. <clears throat> you want to hit Advanced on Chrome and proceed. Um, now, this is your username and password. Um, I'll uh, just quick pause, and I'll come back to you uh, <clears throat> once I log in. So, as you guys can see, I uh, logged into my MineOS. Uh, my IP has changed and all that good stuff. Um, but as you can see, we can see our servers running, our players online, uptime, and how much RAM we have left over. This is in a virtual machine now. Um, I decided to turn off the HP, the server that's really loud and uses so much power. I'm going to think of a better use if I do end up, for whatever reason, trying to use it um, to f figure something that would be worth it. 
Um, so, but basically to set this up, you just want to go to profiles. Um, as you can see, Mojang. You want to select Mojang. Okay. Um, so let's just might as well do the official Mojang jar. So make sure you hit download. It should be downloaded, uh, but I'll just download it again. Now we're creating a new server and we're just call this test for you guys. Um, just keep this. I don't know. Creative, peaceful, whatever. Uh, just create the new server. Now on test, what we want to do is server status. Change profile to Mojang 10.10.2. Now this is vanilla. If you want to do a spigot, uh, which is the mods one, you can choose build tools latest. But I'm just going to do this because my server that's already running on here uh, is the uh, spigot uh, server. Um, or the yeah spigot. Uh, I already have a spigot running, so I'll just do a vanilla right here. Change runnable jar to Minecraft server dot. 10 1.10.2 jar hit um, accept EULA accept EULA start um, if we hit start uh, start may not be performing this action um, as you can see our server is up but uh, we're gonna quick um, you know see stop um, what we need to do is change this right here so if you have one uh, I'm just gonna allocate one gigabit or gigabyte uh, which is 1024 hit start again it should not fail so as you can see it is up and uh, we can see on our dashboard I do have two servers running um, keeps going down for whatever reason but that it won't happen for you um, we can try to figure it out if you really want um, Let's try to figure out why it is doing this. Let me just try to shut down my other Minecraft server since no one's really on it. Anyway, um, I will just stop this real quick. If you guys want my Minecraft server and you guys want to play on my Minecraft server, let me know. Um, I'll drop you my URL. Um, but let's hit start. Oh, that's why. It's because it's on the same port. Um, just for right now just do one server at a time uh, I figured out exactly why it was doing what it was doing okay here we go sorry about that but the problem is as you can see the minecraft port is 25565 and that was running 255 if I wanted to run both I'd have to change this one's port but uh, for right now that's how it works so you can see our status so let's get into playing minecraft and test this server so now that we're on minecraft you can see my version let's just go to multiplayer and we can see my world. Let's just quick join. And as you can see, I am on my Minecraft world. Everything is working. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please rate, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Peace out. And if you have any questions, make sure you let me know down below. See you in my next video, guys. Peace out.